Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type number 4 isoperimetric problems, problem number 1. Welcome back friends, let us start with the first problem of isoperimetric problem type and this is also called Lagrange's function, this is what we have already discussed. So I have just written here for your reference. So here extremal function is given that is y dash square so this is the function given here along with that there is a condition given so what is what used to done in the previous type is only function is given and we need to find it out it it's extremal elements but here here onwards in this particular type that is isoperimetric problem extremal function is given along with the constraint so here constraint will be given so what is the first aim we need to find it out the lagrange's function and what is the lagrange's function first of all here there are there is a function given that is f dx and the function is this so that is integration from x1 to x2 y dash square into dx and there is a constraint given x1 to x2 here so extremal function uh, function is given whose extremal value is, is to be pointed out and there is a constraint given that is given in the format of g dx which is equal to k and in this format it is given x1 to x2 and g value that is your constraint is y dx equal to k first of all we need to find it out lagrange's function x1 to x2 first of all we need to find it out this h and that will be equal to f plus lambda g so f is y dash square plus lambda times g so g is y into dx so this is the functional ready with me but here the functional is h now there are two Euler's equation. This is same as the uh, type one or until now whatever we have discussed. And there are three special cases. Now this h may be independent of x, y, or y dash. If you observe this, it is independent of x. Let's move on. H is independent of x see here there is no x so that indicates do h upon do x equal to zero so that i need to put if you observe this equation these two you will find do h upon do x in this equation do h upon do x is not there in the first equation it is there in the equation number two therefore i need to put in equation number two do h upon do x equal to zero see we are ready with this particular equation now forget about isoperimetric problems or Lagrange's function or this particular type consider this problem as type 1 only because once we are ready with the function now you you're going to solve the problem the similar way as we did in type number 1 so do h upon do x equal to 0 so it will left with this so you will get h minus y dash do h upon do y dash equal to c how got how we got it this do h upon do x will go to that side and will become integration and this minus also will go to that side that's a constant so constant that is c h see here let us put the values h is y dash square plus lambda y minus y dash into do h upon do y dash so that is do into do y dash of h so h is y dash square plus lambda y equal to c. Now we need to simplify it. This is y dash square plus lambda y minus y dash. If we differentiate with respect to y dash, this will become 2 y dash. And this term is a constant term. Its derivative will be 0. So that is equal to c. Let's open the bracket. So this will be y dash square plus lambda y minus 2. If you open, this will become 2 y dash square equal to c see here y dash square minus 2 y dash square that means first i am writing down this particular term lambda y y dash square minus 2 y dash square will be y dash square equal to c so what is the aim my aim is to get the value of y for that purpose i want y dash 
on this particular side on left hand side so therefore y dash square equal to let's take y dash square onto that side so that will become lambda y minus c if this y dash square goes to that side that will become plus and c will come to this side and will become minus now it's just a pure simplification as we used to do in type number one nothing type number four nothing similar to type number four type number four is just starting one two steps that's it so what is your uh, y dash y dash will be you need to take the square root that is lambda y minus c and what is y dash dy by dx that is root of lambda y minus c what next suppose on rhs if we have only function in x then to get the value of y we can integrate but here we also have y therefore we can't integrate which form which method we've done it number of times please let me know which yes variable separable so dy upon so this term will come to this particular side and this dx will go to that side so here it is a dx what next now we need to integrate how to integrate this see it's very simple integration integration of ax plus b raised to n what is the integration ax plus b raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and whatever with x with x we have a so we go to multiply we're going to divide by a so this is the integration that integration i'm going to follow here see this numerator will go up so that will become lambda y minus c raised to here it is half will go up and will become minus half into dy is equal to dc is equal to dx let's integrate now obviously this is variable separable form here we need to integrate with respect to y and here we need to integrate with respect to x so if you respect if you integrate with respect to y you can apply this particular formula see here we are integrating with respect to x here and here we are integrating with respect to y so minus c raised to n plus 1 so minus half so minus half plus 1 is half upon half and whatever with x we're going to divide by that term so with y we have lambda so therefore i'm going to divide by lambda and on rhs we have dx and dx integration is x and constant of integration since it is an indefinite integral what next obviously you need to have uh, you need to do some calculation and you need to get the value of y this is half not minus half because lambda y minus series to minus half so n plus 1 so minus half plus 1 will be half so in short this will become root of lambda y minus c if this lambda by 2 goes to that particular side so that will become x lambda by 2 plus c lambda by 2 let's take square obviously i want y equal to so obviously i need to remove this particular square root so that is lambda y minus c is equal to if i take square i need to take square of this term on right hand side so this is 2 and 2 so i can take 1 upon 4 outside this is and in fact i can take lambda also outside so this is lambda square see take lambda by 2 common in short take lambda by 2 common and if you're taking the square so that will become lambda square by 4 that is common and inside will be left with x plus c the whole square let us open the bracket lambda y minus c is equal to lambda square by 4 if we open the bracket this will be x square plus 2x plus c square let's take this minus c to right hand side so this will be lambda y and let's take this lambda square by 4 term inside so this will become lambda square by 4 into x square in short lambda square by 4 will be multiplied to all the terms plus 2xc lambda square by 4 plus c square lambda square by 4 and this minus c will go to plus that side and become plus c and that will be multiplied with this term so c lambda square by 4 so what will be y this lambda will goes to right hand side and in short you can take lambda common from this and that will be cancelled with this lambda so if i'll take lambda common and cancel so here will be lambda only plus 
one lambda will be cancelled out of two because we're taking lambda common here and this is one by two so x c by two into lambda plus c square lambda by four plus c lambda by four now let us substitute constants uh, with another constant so here y is equal to let's substitute this lambda by four as c1 I am substituting this constant with another constant. So this is C1x square. Here, what is the constant? See here, this particular is a constant term here. So we can replace with C2. And this entire term is a constant so that you can replace with C3. If you observe this particular equation, this is the equation of a parabola, square raised to one, and here we have raised to zero. So this is the equation of a parabola which is a parabola now let us check what is given in the problem or what is asked in the problem basically see here show that the extremal of isometric perimetric problem subject to the condition is a parabola and we prove that the solution is a parabola that is it lagrange's function or isoperimetric problem nothing new just two three uh, additional steps and after that the problem converts into one of the previous types and that is it so uh, be careful while solving the problems and practice well. Hope you understood. Be done with the problem. Thank you.